Hello students, we are ready to start a new chapter from ICSE Book of Class 9 and that is chapter 8, okay? Logarithms. We'll start logarithms from this video on what, okay? We'll start right from exercise 8a, question number 1 and we will solve each and every question from this chapter as well as we did in the previous chapter, okay? That is chapter number 7, laws of indices, isn't it? So we are ready to start exercise 8a, question number 1 one onward okay but before we proceed on solving the questions from this chapter let us first understand some basics of logarithms and the person who invented this okay logarithm logarithm was invented by a very famous scientist from scotland okay he was a scottish scientist and the name of scientist is john napier we don't need to know his name but it is better, it is good to know the name of the inventor, isn't it? So the person named John Napier, the scientist named John Napier invented logarithms, okay? Now let us understand some basics of logarithm and then we will proceed to solve the questions from this chapter. So we know that a to the power b equals to c is an exponential form, isn't it? We have learned this in laws of indices this is called exponential form a raised to power b equals to c this a is called base isn't it b is called power power or you can also say index index and c is a number in the right hand side a is base b is power or index okay a raised to power b equals to c. If I write the numbers in this form, this is called exponential form. So we can convert this exponential form to logarithmic forms as well. Okay, we can convert this expo exponential form to logarithmic form as well. And why do we convert exponential form to logarithmic form? What is the need? Is just to make the calculation easier and simple. Okay logarithm or the log helps us to calculate the numbers faster and in an easier way so we use logarithms or log we call log in the short form and in the long form it is actually logarithm okay so we can convert this exponential form to logarithm form and we can calculate faster so let's first learn to convert this exponential form to logarithm form how do we convert this a is called base isn't it so we write log this log is logarithm okay we write in the short form log a is base we write base here this c we write log c equals to this power goes to the right hand side this is the form called logarithmic form logarithmic form this is called logarithmic form okay how do we read this log c to the base base a is b how do we read this log c <coughs> log c to the base a equals to b log c to the base a log c to the base a equals to b base a a is base isn't it? a is base base would be written in the base place okay we have seen the numbers like this isn't it suppose a to the power 5 equals to a to the power x so this a a same base bases are equal powers will be equal we used to write in this way isn't it in the laws of indices if bases are equal powers will be equal so base is this this is called power so this is called base base remains in the base place and the power goes to the right hand side in the logarithmic form okay so this is how we convert exponential form to logarithmic form and we can convert this logarithmic form to exponential form as well how do we do this see here this is base isn't it a is base we write base here this is power we bring the power here and this log c equals to c okay this is how we write in the exponential form base comes here this power comes here okay this c goes here now 
let us see the rules of logarithm we know that any number raised to power 0 is 1 isn't it any number except 0 except 0 means 0 raised to power 0 is not 1 0 raised to power 0 is not equal to 1 0 raised to power 0 is undefined we must keep this in mind 0 raised to power 0 is undefined apart from 0 any number raised to power 0 is 1 x to the power 0 is 1 10 to the power 0 is 1 2 to the power 0 is 1 uh, 1000 to the power 0 is 1 any number other than 0 raised to power 0 is 1 isn't it so x to the power 0 is 1 so let us convert this exponential form to logarithmic form how do we convert this axis base isn't it this axis base we write in the base place this one we bring here power goes to the right hand side this is how we write in the logarithmic form isn't it which means log 1 to any base equals to 0 log 1 to any base equals to 0 other than 0 okay log 1 to any base other than 0 equals to 0 log 1 to base 5 equals to 0 log 1 to base y equals to 0 log 1 to base 1000 equals to 0 log 1 to base 10 equals to 0 log 1 to any base other than 0 base should not be 0 log 1 to any base other than 0 is always equal to 0 please keep this in mind this is very important rule rule number 1 log 1 to any base is always equal to 0 I'll write this in the sentence also okay log 1 to any base is equal to 0 is equal to 0 log 1 to any base is equal to 0 but we must keep in mind base should not be equal to 0 okay apart from 0 log 1 to any number other than 0 to the base equals to 0 so this is rule 1 now let us write rule number 2 as well rule number 2 is we know that x to the power 1 equals to x isn't it if I write 2 if I write 2 and if the power of 2 is not given if the power is already given 2 cube this is the power is 3 isn't it power is already mentioned 3 we cannot erase this 3 and write 1 okay if I write 2 and the power of 2 is not given we must understand the power of 2 is 1 isn't it so similarly if I write 10 and the power is not given to us we must understand the power of 10 is 1 similarly if I write x if I write x the power is not mentioned so I can assume that the power of x is 1 so which means x to the power 1 is equals to x x to the power 1 equals to x because this x if the power is not mentioned we must understand the power is always 1 isn't it so x to the power 1 is always x any number to power 1 is that number 10 to the power 1 equals to 10 5 to the power 1 equals to 5 okay similarly x to the power 1 equals to x now let us write this in the this is in the exponential form isn't it this is in the exponential form exponential this is n okay exponential form this is in the exponential form now let us convert this into logarithmic form how do we write this this is base isn't it log x log x base base log to the base x this is the log and this power goes here so log x to the base x equals to 1 this is very important rule rule number 2 log x to the base x equals to 1 means log of any number to the base of same number is always 1 okay log of x to the log of x to the base x is 1 means log of 5 to the base 5 equals to 1 log of 10 to the base 10 equals to 1 log of 2 to the base 2 equals to 1 
log of any number to the same number base same number is always equals to 1 this is rule number 2 log of any number to the same base equals to 1 we must keep this in mind as well this is very important rule and the last one is it is to be understood okay it is to be assumed if the base is not given if the base is not given is not given then we must understand then we must understand the base is 10 okay if the base is not given then we must understand the base is 10 suppose if I write log 2 and the base is not given here we must under, we must understand the base of log 2 is 10 okay if log x is written like this and the base is not mentioned we must understand the base of log x is sorry 10 if the base is not given or if the base is not mentioned then we must understand there is base 10 okay so this much as the rule for logarithm for this chapter okay now let us proceed to solve the questions from this chapter so here we are given in the numbers in the exponential form this is an equation written in exponential form so we are asked to convert this into logarithmic form express each of the following in logarithmic form isn't it so 5 is base 3 is power isn't it so we write log this is log 125 5 is base we write base here equals to 3 this is how we convert log okay exponential form to logarithmic form here we have 3 to the power minus 2 equals to 1 upon 9 so how do we convert this so 3 is base log 3 base 3 so this power minus 2 goes in the right hand side minus 2 this 1 upon 9 comes here 1 upon 9 okay log of 1 upon 9 to the base 3 is minus 2 now this 10 to the power minus 3 is equal to 0 0.001 how do we write this this 10 is base so log base 10 this 0 0.001 comes here 0 0.001 equals to this power equals to minus 3 okay 81 to the power 3 upon 4 equals to 27 81 is the base here so log 81 this power 3 upon 4 goes to the right hand side and this 27 comes here log of base log 27 to the base 81 is 3 upon 4 okay this is how do we this is how we convert exponential form to logarithmic form let us check whether this is true or not but before we check this let us write some some more rules okay number fourth rule log suppose if I write log 2 into 3 log 2 into 3 okay to the base 10 okay log 2 into 3 to the base 10 how do we can write this this is written as log base 10 2 plus log 3 base 10 2 into 3 means log 2 plus log 3 bases will remain same 10 10 2 into 3 means log 2 plus log 3 or you can write if you see somewhere log a plus log b log a plus log b you can write this as log a into b a into b means a plus b log a plus log b okay this is the fourth rule fifth rule if you see log uh, suppose 5 upon 10 this means log 5 minus log 10 okay log 5 upon log 10 fifth rule log 5 upon 10 is upon if into is plus then upon upon means divide is minus if into is plus log 2 into 3 is log 2 plus log 3 isn't it 
if into multiplication is plus then division 5 upon 10 is minus division is minus okay so if the base is not mentioned we can write 10 similarly number six sixth law is if you have number like this log a raised to power b log a raised to power b how this is written is this b we bring here in the front b log a b comes here log a and if the base is not mentioned we write 10 log b a to the base 10 okay so this is the sixth rule okay now let us do question number two number two express each of the following in exponential form so we are provided with logarithmic form these equations are in logarithmic form so we are asked to convert this into exponential form isn't it so let's do this very very easy isn't it so log 0 0.125 equals to to the base 8 equals to minus 1 log 0 0.125 to the base 8 equals to minus 1 this minus 1 is the power isn't it so 8 is the base 8 is base power is minus 1 equals to 0 0.125 okay similarly log 0 0.01 to the base 10 equals to minus 2 this minus 2 is power this is base so 10 10 is the base this minus 2 is power okay and this number goes to the right, right hand side 0 0.01 similarly log a to the base a small a equals to x so small a is the base and x is the power a to the power x equals to this a capital a goes to the right hand side this one log 1 to the base 10 equals to 0 isn't it so base is 10 this is power so 10 to the power 0 this is power okay equals to this one so this is how we convert logarithmic form to exponential form now let us do question number three i hope you are getting me <clears throat> okay now let us do question number three solve for x we are provided with this equation and we are asked to find the value of x isn't it solve means we are asked to find the value of x so what we do is we first convert this logarithmic form into exponential form and then we will solve for x okay this implies 10 is base and this is power okay minus 2 is power so 10 is base to the power minus 2 equals to this x goes to the right hand side when we convert logarithmic form to exponential form we write in this way isn't it the base 10 will remain base here and this number in the right hand side will be power and this log will be in the right hand side okay now or we bring this x to the left hand side and this 10 to the power minus 2 to the right hand side this x becomes minus x this plus 10 becomes minus 10 minus minus cancels okay i hope you are getting me or x equals to 10 to the power minus 2 means 1 upon 10 square isn't it this 10 to the power minus 2 this number is in the numerator because there is no number in the denominator so 10 to the power minus 2 is in the numerator if i bring down this number to the denominator what happens the sign of the power changes to plus 2 minus 2 becomes plus 2 okay when we take any number from numerator to denominator or denominator to numerator the sign of the power changes to plus to minus and minus to plus if the number is if the power is plus then becomes minus if the power is minus then it will become plus i hope you are getting me or x equals to 1 upon 10 square means 1 upon 100 10 square means 10 times 100 isn't it but more simpler way is what is the power 2 we write two zeros 10 to the power 5 means what is the power here 5 we write 1 2 3 4 5 zeros 10 to the power uh, 81 means what is the power here 81 1 2 3 4 dot, 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 81 okay <laughs> 81 zeros i hope you are getting me if the base is 10 then we write that many zeros as the power is okay looking at the power we write that many zeros 
if the power is 2 we write two zeros if the power is 5 we write five zeros okay now here we have two zeros in the denominator we will remove these two zeros from the denominator and put a decimal point before that many digits in the numerator okay so what i mean to say by this is if i have one upon 100 okay if i have two three four upon 100 how many zeros in the denominator two zeros so i remove two zeros from the denominator and i put a decimal point before two digit one two decimal point comes here this means 2.34 upon 1 just two zeros are gone one is still there so every number has one in the denominator so we need not write this one 2.34 isn't it this is the way how we write so but if we have one upon 10 then what we do zero we remove this zero and we put a decimal point before one digit because we removed one zero from the denominator we need to put a decimal point before one digit so 0.1 upon 1 so every number has one in the denominator we need not write that one so we erase it so if we have one upon 100 so before i remove these two zeros i must think that the number in the numerator is only one isn't it so i need to make this number two first what we do is we write zero in front of this one and I remove two zeros from the denominator and I put a decimal point before two digits here okay why in this way so the answer is 0.01 okay I, I, I hope you got this or x equals to 1 upon 100 is 1 upon 100 means 0 0.01 isn't it I hope you got this we remove two zeros and we put a decimal point before two digit but my question is why 0 0.01 why not 0 0.10 1 upon 100 can be written as could have been written as 1 0 okay first i write 1 upon 100 okay i remove two zeros here but before that i put a zero here i make a two digit and now i remove two zeros and put a decimal point here can i do this this is also two decimal two digit number and i have already put a digit before two digit number i have put a decimal point before two, two digit number is it okay to write this these numbers are same or not no absolutely wrong this is an incorrect way because a decimal point okay after a decimal point zero has no value if the ending number is zero what i mean to say by that is if i put point one then i can put as many zeros as a wish all these zeros will have no value until and unless i put a non-zero number at the end okay if i do not have any non-zero number at the end then all this zero will have no value the value of this is 0.1 only okay as many zeros lakhs and millions of zeros you go on putting millions of zeros these zeros will have no value if the end if the ending number is a non-zero number non-zero number means if the ending number is zero but but if i write point one zero 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 if the ending number is one or two or three or four or five or whatever be the number other than zero then all these zeros will have value all of these zeros will have value okay like just the opposite isn't it if I write 20, this 0 have some value because this 0 is written after a digit. 20 has value. But if I write 0, 2, this, this 0 has no value. Isn't it? This 0 will have no value because this 0 is written before a digit. 0, 2 means 2. 20 means different thing. 2 means different thing. In the same way, in the same way, point zero 0.01, this 0 will have some value because though this zero is after a decimal point but before a non-zero number but one zero this zero will have no value because this zero is after a decimal point and the ending number is ending number is not a non-zero number means there are zeros isn't it i hope you got me so what i mean to say by all this is we can make two digit or three digit three digit so if i have 
one two three four five zeros one two three four five zeros one upon five zeros how, how do i write this so one is already there in the numerator now i need one two three four five i need to put a decimal point before five digit number isn't it one is already in the numerator so i need to remove these five zeros from the denominator and put a decimal point before five digits so one is already there two three four five point okay so all of these zeros has value because the ending number is one but i cannot write point one one two three four all these zeros will have no value because the ending number is not a non-zero number <laughs> i hope you got this now let's do question number four question number four find the logarithm of 100 to the base 10 okay and after that question number two 0 0.1 to the base 10 so logarithm of 100 to the base 10 means log of 100 to the base 10 isn't it logarithm of 100 to the base 10 means log 100 to the base 10 so you can write this as log 100 means 10 squared to the base 10 10 squared is 100 isn't it 10 squared means 100 so 100 can be written as 10 squared okay now this 2 comes before as coefficient okay log 10 to the base 10 so this 2 into log of some number to the same base same number if the base and the log is same okay log 10 to the base 10 means 1 log x to the base x means 1 log 5 to the base 5 means 1 so i've given this rule isn't it so log 10 to the base 10 means 1 so 2 into 1 is 2 the answer for question number 1 is 2 so this log of 0 0.1 to the base 10 this means log of 0 0.1 to the base 10 isn't it this means log of 0 0.1 means 0 okay 0 0.1 means 1 upon how many before how many digit there is a decimal point before one digit so we put one zero in the denominator log of 1 upon 10 to the base 10 this is 10 okay this is 10 base 10 i remove decimal point from before one digit number and i put one zero in the denominator now log log a upon b can be written as log a minus log b isn't it a upon b is log a minus log b upon means minus into means plus okay log a into b equals to log a plus log b so these are the rules i have already given in the first part of this video this means log 1 to the base 10 minus log 10 to the base 10 isn't it so log 1 to any base is always 0 isn't it log 1 to any base is always 0 and log of some number to the same base is always 1 like log x to the base x means 1 log 5 to the base 5 means 1 log of n to the base n is 1 okay so log 10 to the base 10 means 1 so 0 minus 1 is minus 1 so this is answer for question number 2 log 1 to any base is always 0 okay what i mean to say by this is log 1 to base 100 equals to 0 log 1 to base x equals to 0 log 1 to any base is always zero so i hope you got this now let us do question number three and four two one yeah point zero zero one to the base ten so log of log of zero point zero zero one to the base ten isn't it log of point zero zero one to the base ten this means log point zero zero one means one upon there is a decimal point before three digit number so i need to put three zeros 
in the denominator 1 2 3 to the base 10 now log a upon b means log a upon b means log a minus log b isn't it so this gives us log 1 upon 10 minus log 1000 upon it to the base 10 so log 1 upon 10 means 0 isn't it log 1 to any base is always 0 minus log 1000 means log 10 cube to the base 10 10 cube is 1000 10 cube is 1000 0 minus this is minus this 3 comes before log 10 to the base 10 so this is minus 3 log 10 to the base 10 means 1 log of same number to the same base is 1 so minus 3 1s are minus 3 so answer for question number 3 is minus 3 okay so let me write here equals to minus 3 now this is 32 to the base 4 log of 32 to the base 4 isn't it so let us convert this into exponential form to solve this in an easier way okay because we cannot find the base 4 okay so this is base 4 is base so let log of 32 to the base 4 equals to x let, let log of 32 to the base 4 equals to x say this equals to x so this 4 is base isn't it this is power equals to this is 32 or 4 means 2 squared this x is already there 2 squared is 4 to the power x equals to 32 2 means 2 to the power 5 or 2 2 bases are equal means power should be equal 2x should be equals to 5 or x equals to 5 upon 2 or you can add this as 2 whole 1 upon 2 2 to the 4 plus 1 5 okay both are same log 32 to the base 4 is 5 by 2 okay I have got this 5 and 6 are 4 okay find the logarithm of this so log 0 0.125 1 to 5 to the base 2 equals to x say so let us suppose log this equals to x okay now let us convert this into exponential form so base is 2 and this is power 2 to the power x equals to 0 0.125 isn't it so 2 to the power x equals to 1 to 5 upon 1 2 3 I remove a decimal point from before three digit number and I put three zeros in the denominator okay or 2 to the power x equals to 1 to 5 upon 1000 isn't it 1 to 5 means 5 cube 1000 means 10 cube okay so 2 to the power x equals to 5 upon 10 whole cube isn't this or now let us 5 1s are 5 5 2s are 10 2 to the power 2 to the power x equals to 2 to the power x equals to 1 upon 2 whole cube 1 upon 2 whole cube isn't it now what I do is 2 to the power x equals to 2 to the power minus 3 isn't it I hope you are getting me 1 upon 2 whole cube is 1 cube upon 2 cube isn't it 1 cube is 1 cube is 1 2 cubed so if I bring this 2 cube to the numerator the power becomes 2 to the power minus 3 the sign of the power changes to minus if I bring any number from numerator denominator to numerator okay so this becomes 2 to the power minus 3 therefore powers are equal uh, sorry bases are equal then power should be equal therefore x equals to minus 3 
Now, the answer for question number five is this. Let us do question number six. Log of one by 16 to the base four, isn't it? Log of one by 16, one by 16 to the base four equals to x, say. Oh, okay, let us not suppose this x, okay? We do, we'll do this by log itself. This means log of one to the base four minus log of 16 to the base four, okay? One upon means one minus this. Upon means minus, isn't it? So this is log one to the base four means zero. Log one to any base is always zero minus log 16 means 4 squared to the base 4 or 0 minus this is minus this 2 comes here 2 log this 2 comes before here log 4 to the base 4 equals to equals to minus 2 log 4 to the base 4 same number isn't it log 4 to the base 4 means 1 so minus two ones are minus two. This is the answer. So I hope you got this. Let's do question number seven and eight. Seven and eight, okay. So log 27 to the base nine, isn't it? Log 27 to the base nine. Let us suppose this equals to x, okay. See. So we are asked to find the value of log 27 to the base 9 and log 27 to the base 9 is x. We have assumed this to be x. So, or this 9 is the base, x is the power, isn't it? So 9 to the power x equals to 27. This I write in the exponential form. Or 9 means 3 to the power 2, 3 squared is 9. So x was already there, I write x as it is. 27 means 3 cubed, 3 cubed is 27, 3, 3 is a 9, 9, 3 is a 27. Since bases are equal, this means power should be equal. 2x should be equals to 3, or x equals to 3 upon 2. This is an improper fraction, you can convert this into x equals to 3 upon 2 means 1 whole, 1 by 2. 2 and 2 plus 1, 3 by 2, okay? Now let us do question number 8 log of 1 by 81 to the base 27 isn't it equals to x okay say so this is base and this is power 27 to the power x equals to 1 by 81 isn't it or uh, 27 means 3 cubed 3 cubed means 27 x was already there so 3 into the power 3x equals to 81 means 1 upon 3 to the power uh, 4 3 to the power 4 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 27 3 is a 3 3 is a 9 3 is a 9 9 9 is a 27 3 to the power 4 or 3 to the power 3x equals to 3 to the power 4 plus 4 isn't it if i bring this number to the numerator sign of the power changes to minus 4. now 3 and 3 bases are equal so power should be equal 3x equals to minus 4 or x equals to minus 4 by 3 okay this is the answer for question number 8. i hope you got this please take the screenshot okay this was for today thank you and stay connected okay I'll upload the remaining questions in the upcoming video.